1950 taxi. Speechless. Absolutely love these cars. These are plenty. These are all around Havana. Yeah, love getting in these vehicles. Superb. And I've just come to a beach called Santa Maria. Uh, say I've been in the heart of Havana and just come to this beach now. Have a little look around. But yeah, to come in these cars from the 50s is an absolute dream. Really, really cool. And probably the best way to get around Havana. Very, very cheap. So if you see these around, flag them down, you get a good price. But yeah, superb. I think we're a blast. There you go. <laughs> nice one. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> Okay, let's check the beach house. Yeah, very nice beach. Santa Maria. <laughs> it's cold. You got the palm trees over the back, very Caribbean esque. But yeah, oh my gosh. lovely beach. Okay, I'm back from the beach, Santa Maria, which is a real quality beach as you can see previously. It cost about 20 US dollars to get there, about half an hour ride, highly recommend it. Okay, I'm back, like I say, I'm in the Airbnb. Look at this review. This is Centro Havana. Great view from the Airbnb. See, you've got a TV here. It's nicely decorated. Got John Lennon here. I'll leave the link in the description. Got a kitchen. Coming through here is me. You've got one bathroom. You've got a bedroom here. And this is my bedroom. This has got share and toilet, and also you've got another amazing view. And you've got the sea over there, very close to the sea. But yes, yeah, Centra Havana. Okay, I was going to explore the area and I've just bumped into my good friend Oscar who's come to meet me and he's actually given me a painting. Check this out. This means rebirth, reincarnation. Is that correct? Have I got that right? Yes. 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 This is Oscar's work here. Very, very cool. And also you've got this painting here which represents the Cuban people and sometimes day-to-day -day struggles. That's Again, right. a very, very cool piece of artwork. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to link Oscar's Instagram account down below in the description and you can check out his artwork if you'd like to purchase, get in touch with him. Like I say, really, really cool pieces here and he's a top lad. He's given me, the, he's given me this one here, so very much appreciate it. Thank you Oscar, absolute okay. legend. You're Thank welcome. you. You're welcome. Top man. That's the kindness of the Cuban people. Come here, you will not regret it. Such a cool place. We're off to get ice cream. Oscar's coming with us. Uh, we've got the family in tow, we've got Valentina and Thomas, yeah Oscar, he's, he's after ice cream, it's a very hot day, we're after ice cream, well actually I'm not going to have one because I had one earlier and I don't want to get too fat, but yeah, everybody else is going to get an ice cream. I found some place around the corner around here and very very cool, very old school, you'll love it. I want to say also Oscar, he does tours as well, so if you want, he's English speaking, he can show you the best restaurants around here. Um, he can show you places of interest, uh, sort of classic car tours out, all sorts. So I'll, I'll also leave his email uh, with his Instagram as well. So if you haven't got Instagram, check out his email. I email him, like I say, if you want to buy some artwork or if you want to tour, anything, he's the man. Or any place where you want to eat something around or any, yeah. Yeah. Please, look, look. Any, or any very interesting uh, place uh, to take some photos or so on and so on. There you go. So, yeah, Oscar's the man. He'll, he'll sort it out, not a problem. Because you have to, not everybody speaks English here, and like I say, that can be a problem. But Oscar knows a lot of places, a lot of cool places. Um, we, we, we met in the hostel bar, which is local, which I'm also going to show you in a minute. 
and if you're a solo traveller, yeah, lots of hustle and bustle. Yeah, if you're a solo traveller, this hostel bar that I'm going to take you to, it's a good place to meet people. And like I say, you've got English speakers in this bar as well, like Oscar, who's an absolute legend. Like I say, if you if you want to see around Havana, he knows everything about Havana, so he's the, he's the guy to speak to. So yeah, his email is going to be in the description and also his Instagram. But yeah, let's let's find this uh, ice cream parlour. Some really old buildings here. Love the architecture. Yeah, Centro Havana. A lot more calmer than old Havana. Old Havana for me, it's got Cartagena vibes. It's like amigo, amigo, amigo. Buy, you know, buy this, buy that. And yeah, here is very much more chilled. Yeah, colourful. Here you go. You got some palm trees up there. And this ice cream place that I'm coming to on the corner, really, really good ice cream. And good price as well. The price is about 40 Cuban pesos, which is literally, I don't know, that's like 40 pence or, you know, that's, it's nothing. So, but yeah, really good place. There you go, she's got the ice cream. It's very nice. <laughs> Here we go. This lady's got one as well. Yeah, very old school place, very old school. Yeah, this is the place. Uh, how many ice creams do you want? Uh, seven. Se seven ice creams. <laughs> yes. Yes. I don't want. Oh, you don't want? Okay. You sure? Okay. So, un, deux. Am I doing French? How do you say? What? Four. 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 Quattro. Quattro. That's what I want. Uh, can Can you translate for me, some <laughs> please? It's no good me speaking Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. There you, there you go, Spanish speaker. Yeah. It's uh, for me it's a bit impossible. There you go, there's one. Great ice cream. It's a very old school place. Why not? Bueno, muchas gracias. Yeah, very good price and very good ice cream. Okay, it's going to change. Muchas gracias. Okay, thank you, thank you. There you go, what's it like? Good? Good? No problem. Yeah, good? 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 Fresher. Fresher. What's that mean? Fresher is very. Very, very good. It's strawberry. It's strawberry. Oh, strawberry. It's a berry, it's a fresa. Strawberry. There yeah. you go. I'm learning Spanish all the time. Very good. Very bueno. This lady likes it. Yeah. <laughs> Just look at this setting here. Very old school. And you've got bread over here. Big Q. It's quite popular. I don't know the name of this place, but it is on 879 uh, Nepturo. I think that's the street, maybe, but yeah. Neptura 879, and over there you've got La Dicha uh, Bread Bakery. Yes, so I highly recommend this ice cream. On What's that? sale. These are the sovereigns. There you go. Sale. Yeah. Building for sale. Yeah. I wonder how much that'll be worth. What do you think? Yeah. A few, few thousand pesos? I don't know. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, but. Um, I think it's not um, expensive at Major all, expensive. like before, because mm. um, uh, many people um, um, uh, go now to US. Right. Yeah, they, yeah a lot of Cubans yeah, are escaping the US. from uh, the system and yes, other yes. places, and they need yeah. uh, money quickly. Right, know? so they're selling the yeah, property. Yeah, that's right. They right, uh, make right. Uh, some discounts sometimes. So yeah, yeah. That's a good thing. Ah, okay, well, yeah. For people who want to stay in Cuba and well, we'll go out from here yeah. like say, and not go away from here. Yeah. Well, yes. say it's, it's a very lively place, so I see the attraction of this place. Yeah. Um, Centro, where we are, we are now, it's, yeah, it's, say it's quite yeah, quieter. Yeah, it's, it's, more, it's which, more expensive, yeah. yeah. If you want to buy any other house in the suburbs, you can do it yeah. in a very low price. Right, right, yeah. okay. That's interesting yeah, just, to know. Uh, but yeah. yeah, depends on what you want to do, you know. Yeah. Some artists uh, love uh, being in the uh, center Havana. Yeah. You know, um, many other people 
uh, could do another kind of works. They prefer the suburbs. Yeah. Rice, rice. Yeah, they love. Um, old, old Havana, yeah. old Havana though. That is, I'd say, it's more lively than here, and it's like there's a lot yeah, more, that's right. a lot more that's people right. approaching. Yeah. Havana after um, uh, COVID-19, it was uh, different, of course, as many places all over the world. Yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, and many Cubans emigrated to. US or to many other countries, you know, to yeah. put their lives. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's a little more different, you know, a life for life like before, yeah. but always you can find a good place, you can yeah. have a, a good conversation with a Cuban on the street. Yeah. Because a normal Cuban people is very sociable, yes. very, yes. you know, very kind. Yes. You know? Definitely, and definitely. Go, this is one of the things people love from the, the Caribbean. They come here. Yeah, because yeah. we are, uh, you know, we have a weather, a weather yeah. uh, which uh, um, uh, influences in our character, in our yeah. personality. Yeah, yeah. The Cuba personality. Definitely, Weather. definitely. Yeah. Like I, say, I, I prefer this this part of uh, Havana to old Havana because, like I say, it's very chilled here. You know, in, in old Havana, you've got a lot of people approaching you to buy things. I would yeah, say because it's right. a tourist, yeah, touristy yeah, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. place. But here, yeah. it's more chill, which yeah, I like. And, uh, for example, if you come to Cuba, uh, you can you have to uh, taste a very um, um, uh, very well known uh, food, uh, Cuban yeah. food, yeah. which is uh, congress which is rice and beans. Rice, okay, yeah. yeah and beans, uh, pork. Yes, yes. Pork. Yeah. Uh, uh, yuca, which is a, like a sort of mandioc. Rice. Like a mandioc. Uh, uh, mandioc. Uh, yeah. Cassava. And you, you know all the places where to get these things. So yeah, you're the, you're the man to see. So if you want the best Cuban food, they come that's and see right, Oscar. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's right. Yeah, I can yeah. bring you to many other, to many places here in the center, so where you can go. You can find many other uh, styles. Yeah. Style, eh? uh, you can get all sorts yeah. of food. Yeah. Hey, just one quick moment, look at this car here. Another another classic car. Yeah, that one, yeah. It's an American car. Yeah. So loads of these cars everywhere. Love them. Amazing. Another cool car. Love it. Rice, we're going to the Hotel Nacional now. Oh, this guy's filming as well. Okay, I'll uh, move around him. I don't know what he's filming, filming the bus, I don't know. Hola, how you doing? Um, yeah, we're going to the Hotel Nacional now. This is on near the seafront. Uh, this hotel has had the likes of Marlon Brando, Frank Sinatra, my hero Diego Armando Maradona, and yes, now I'm gonna go. Hola, how you doing? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, uh, Maradona the man. Uh, I met a guy the other night at the hostel, we was having a few beers and he looked like Diego Armando Maradona as well. He's the Cuban Maradona, he's such a funny guy, he was a UFC fighter as well. Yeah, you'll meet all sorts of great people here, friendly people. Um, yeah, this, this place for me, I think you have to, I've been here five days, I think you probably need more than five days to actually explore the place because You'll see so many things. There's lots of things to do. Um, one thing I will point out, though, with money, the money aspect of things, um, I had my card with me, and trying to find a bank here is an absolute nightmare. Uh, also, I've been told on well, I saw something online where he said you can actually uh, pay for uh, things with your card in supermarkets, but the problem is there's not. I haven't seen many supermarkets at all here. It's all like little home fronts, people's homes, and they sell. You know, items, um, cigarettes, drinks, different things. So really, if you're coming here, you need to bring your own cash. I recommend that you bring US dollars. Um, US dollars is widely accepted here. You'll also get people who will offer you uh, an exchange for Cuban pesos for US dollars. Um, the guy at my Airbnb, which I'll also leave a link in the description, uh, Vladimir Topman, he actually gave me a great exchange. It was 240 uh, Cuban pesos for uh, one dollar, which the banks here, if you do with the banks, they give you about 120 Cuban pesos for the dollar. I've also been told that you can only take out, uh, I think it's about four to five thousand uh, Cuban pesos through the bank, even if you do find a bank, and that uh, I think it's about twenty dollars. Uh, if you take into consideration that the classic car tour uh, can cost anywhere from 30 to 40 US dollars, then 
you know that's gonna that's not gonna cover you um, you may be able to find uh, bits of food for that but yeah highly recommend that you bring US dollars here otherwise you're gonna find it quite difficult to get around lots of cool cars lots of classics Yeah, absolutely love these cars and them coconut cars as well, they're quite funny. There you go, the promenade is right next to Centro Subaru as well. It's cool to chill here at night time, you get a few people up and down here, you get people playing guitar, you can socialise with people. Yeah, it's a nice, nice walk of a night time as well. But yeah, very close to Centro Subaru where we're staying. Like I say, for me, Centro Suba is probably the best place because it's less of a tourist trap than old Havana to stay in. If you stay around there, like I say, you're going to probably get hounded by people to buy cigars and all sorts. So, yeah, this place is very chill and that's what I'm all about. There you go, very grand building. Some nice palm trees here. Also, you've got some more classic cars parked outside but yeah you've had a lot of famous people come here and this is a place I've always wanted to have a look at ever since I thought of coming to Cuba I thought yeah let's check the national out there we go another classic beauty Chevrolet here's another one 1953 Chevrolet Here we go, we're inside the lobby. There's Castro. Nice and cool in here. Got some grand clocks there. Very cool. Some jewellery for sale. Yeah, very pristine, very cool lobby. Let's have a look at the garden. There you go, Hotel National 1930. Nice garden, seating to chill out. Nice water feature. Overlooking the sea as well with the palm trees. Very exotic. And a bar over there as well, nice. The Hotel National. There you go, just saw this piece as well. History rooms. This is the rooms that the stars have actually stayed in. You've got Winston Churchill in 240, Marlon Brando 629. You've also got Walt Disney, room 445, Frank Sinatra 225, and you've also got the guy who played Tarzan, Johnny West Wiesmuller. I can't pronounce that. But yeah, very, very cool. Lots of history. Here you go. I found a picture of more people that have stayed here. You've got uh, the Prince of Monaco, Alberto, he stayed here. Let's have a look who else you got. Buster Keaton, Javier Bardem, actor. Yeah, very cool actor. There he is, the man, Diego Maradona. And you got Danny Glover, lethal weapon. Gary Cooper. Yeah, lots of famous people. John Wayne. Steven Spielberg. Nat King Cole. Unbelievable. What I'm going to do now is take you to the place which I absolutely love in Centro Havana. And this place is called Juancho Hostel. Hostel. Put my seat back in Hostel Juancho. 
Uh, it's a really cool place. Like I say, if you're a solo traveller, you want to meet people, then this is the place to come. Okay, this is in the lobby of Hostel Juancho. Look at all the artwork on here, absolutely superb. Juancho has collected all these pieces, put more on the wall. This is what attracted me to the place when I walked past. I thought it was an art gallery stroke antique shop when I first walked past, but then I saw the bar, which, yeah, obviously I'm attracted to the alcohol. But yeah, very cool bars stocked up. You've got all the spirits. So you've got the cold drinks in there, you've got crystal beer which i love but yeah this place is very very cool lots going on here okay so a little tour uh, through this is the common area here you've got the kitchen here where all the uh good food comes from okay now we're going to go upstairs to the terrace and have a little look come here yeah i like all these touches of uh pottery and things and artwork brilliant Ah, amazing. I've not been in this room, so yeah, very cool again. Very nice, very nice. You can see you have a hall here. Yeah. Bedrooms over there. Right, all the bedrooms down here, okay. Yeah. Yeah, love it. Like it, sir? Yeah, it's... Like I say, I've walked around Centro Havana, I've looked all around, I've never seen a place like this. Like I say, with all this artwork decked out, very cool feel to it, love it. Brilliant. Look at this old radio as well. Yeah, this is an ancient radio. Yeah, love all that. Brilliant. But yeah, great place to hang out. I love it here, like I say. I've been here every night drinking lots of beer. So yeah, my favourite place in Centro Havana. Here I'm on the terrace. This is one terrace here. Nice place to chill out. You've got the Cuban flag over here. I'm going to show you the views, the, the clients over, and uh, not used to come, that you're VIP. Oh, right, VIP, okay. Uh, we're, 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 we're watching. <laughs> okay. This is my favorite place, you know, you know of the hostel? Yeah. Because I come here at night when I'm alone. Right, just chill out. Uh, clients are not allowed to come here, but... Totally oh, right, okay. You're VIP. Oh, there you go. Clients not allowed to come here, but I am. Oh, my mistake. As you can see. Oh, nice. And yeah, it yeah, is, just sit, chill out. Yeah, sit here and watch bit one with the world. Yeah, yeah, nice view of all these buildings as well. I love, yeah. love the architecture, I think it's absolutely amazing. Yeah, all the views over yeah. there and over there. Superb. Okay, and here we have one bedroom here. Nice, cool rooms, nice big TV. Like it. Okay, that's all for the tour of Hostile Juan Show. Also, the owner's got a restaurant called, what's, what's the name of it again? Vita Nova. Vita Nova, there you go. Yeah, go to this restaurant. I've, I've heard great reports about it. Uh, a lot of people have met there and said it's really good food. They do Italian and also Cuban food. And Fernando's wife works there as well, and she does great Italian food. So, yeah, check that place out as well. But, yeah, definitely come here, see Fernando and the guys, and I'll see you at some cold drinks, good rooms, and good vibes.